Good morning, Elsa. Good morning, Mara. <laughs> Today we are talking about art and being artists also in our lives and how we love to explore our own creativity. So I see behind you, you have so much beautiful art. And I believe you painted, if not all of it, most of it. Is that correct? I painted all of it, yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's all my art. Yeah. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Um, so yeah, so tell me, um, is there any piece behind you you want to talk about? Or did you have other pieces you wanted to talk about? Uh, I don't know uh, how to approach this. Um, well, this one is the latest, and um, I, if, if uh, people who are watching have been following me, uh, it was uh, started when I had my birthday by the lake where uh, my friends joined me and they started painting on the background. Uh, because one of the techniques that I like is to paint on underpainting. Mm. Um, because it, um, triggers my creativity. I create uh, on when I have an impulse. And so that's how they gave me the impulse. Mm -hmm. I told my friends, and of course they didn't, uh, they would never realize that this is what would uh, come out of it. Uh, so everybody just contributed. And I said, play um, where you want, uh, because I'm going to paint on the top of it. And that technique is um, I cover some of it and I, uh, allow some of it to be uncovered. And then I look at it uh, and uh, try to see, you know, what comes up for me. And then I mm -hmm. develop it further. And then I look at it again and ask myself or my unconscious mind what comes up. Yeah. And that's, how, that's like self-coaching actually. That's one of the techniques that I like. Yeah, so that's the latest. Uh, it's going to be called the birth of an eye. Uh, the birth of who? An eye. An oh, eye. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I don't have, I haven't photographed it yet. But uh, yeah, you can see it in the background. I love that you said that self coaching when you, I was just, I was going to say the same thing if you hadn't said it, that sense mm -hmm. of being in front of a, an open space or, or part of a picture, which we can often feel like in our lives, you know, and uh, as coaches holding the space for what comes up for our clients. Um, but it's important we do that for ourselves, you know, because we are living, breathing humans too, going through our own ups and downs and confusions and difficult feelings and um, art or creativity, whether it's painting or writing or dancing. Um, for me, I feel like... Um, I wasn't expecting to talk about this, but just talking about that open space and seeing what comes up, um, I chant and I sing mm -hmm. um, and I'll do it for myself and I'll do it with clients as well. But I feel like that's become my, my most powerful channel to just um, see what comes up. And when I'm by myself, it'll often lead me into um, movement around my apartment and filling the space and feeling into different parts of my body and emotions yeah that that is amazing what you do you shared your latest chant that you had uh, published on youtube and i watched it this morning because i woke up early mm -hmm. i mean for me it was uh, early it was around six o'clock in the morning on a saturday morning and um i like that time when i wake up before everybody else, mm -hmm. uh, because it's a quiet time. And then I turned it on and I really felt into it. It was so beautiful. I, yeah, thank you for sharing that with me. Yeah, for, yeah. me for me, the voice has been probably the most vulnerable thing. I do have, um, at, at least in the childhood and I, I had almost like absolute mu musical hearing. I haven't developed my voice though. Uh, there is some, I have, um, I couldn't even say struggled with, uh, with my voice mm -hmm. for some reason. I haven't been 
um, comfortable sharing my voice. That that would be like total uh, disclosure. Yeah, full disclosure. That. And, uh, however, there's a lot inside. Of course, I'm emotional being, and um, art is uh, that I speak through sometimes, and even unconsciously because I don't know what it's what is what how it's going to turn out. I can mm -hmm. have a picture in my mind, but when I approach the canvas, something else happens. Something else something happens. That, yeah, I hadn't even imagined. Yeah. Like, for instance, I would never imagine that in my mind. It wouldn't. Yeah. Like, the conscious mind would never come up with it. It was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's a beautiful way to explore our own heart, I feel like, and see what our what is our heart speaking to us, which isn't um, conscious. But I actually totally share uh, this fear of sharing my voice. Um, actually, for me, it's become more recent that I've been sharing it more publicly. And the, the very first time I shared a, a chant in, uh, in particular, um, with a video in particular, it was a video of me also singing. So that extra bit of vulnerability. Yeah. I, I was actually very, uh, very scared and crying and I, <laughs> yeah, because it felt so vulnerable. Um, and I believe that's, you know, our voice is like, in, in my opinion or my experience, it, it is the, your, the, it, when you make sound, your whole body is involved, your, your body vibrates, you, you're having a very direct response to the sound of yourself. And yes. so um, when we're still learning that, to do that in a free way, uh, not the way we've learned, you know, through yes. speech or <laughs> yes. uh, it is very scary because there's parts of yourself you're not yet, you don't yet know are going to come out. And yes. um, it's, yeah. And w when you're singing or speaking in, in, a, in that kind of way, I feel like, if you're going to do it publicly and it's um, improv, like an unconscious painting, um, yeah, to me that feels so much more vulnerable because it's being directly witnessed, you discovering yourself. <laughs> yeah, totally. Although sharing um, paintings also feels vulnerable. Yes. And I haven't shared some with many people, but, but the voice, I learned that a similar technique, not the same chanting that you do, but I, I was quite young. I was, uh, um, I'd say 23 maybe, uh, when um, I had a, an absolutely amazing opportunity to spend a summer uh, together with an artist who was, um, she's multi-artist. Multi, multi I don't know how you would say she, she Basically, the the, uh, the class or the group that we we were together, I think six people or so, uh, it was uh, called the performance art, but there was everything. Uh, there was music. She gave us musical instruments and mm -hmm. we would just play, but the voice was one of the, the, the central like focal points. And we meditated and we did the same that you, you, are, you are saying that uh, we allowed all like, all the range of the voice to come out. Uh, basically, it was called chakra he uh, uh -huh. healing or clearing. And yeah, you start yeah. with the very ugly, uh, so to say, in the traditional um, uh, sense or meaning. Uh, that, and that is the root chakra. Yeah. And it's very important. It's, um, we need to have a healthy root chakra, but then we feel embarrassed to make those sounds. Yeah, it, it really sounds like, uh, yeah. and it's ugly, right? And <laughs> I just shared, yeah. And then you go up, 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 and that's that's how you practice. And you know what I did after I, you know, she she was from Australia and she was visiting in Latvia, and that's how I met her. But uh, for several years, I ha I used to have a dog, and for several years, when I walked my dog, I went to, into the woods, and in Latvia, you can find woods that are basically virgin, nobody, you, mm. there's little chance to meet anybody. And I would do these, these <laughs> voices and my dog would always like, look at me, <laughs> what's happening? How I, I, I have never done it publicly like you do. So you're very yeah. courageous. 
That's so beautiful. I love going out into the woods and connecting to your primal womanhood and just uh, letting the trees hold it and letting the trees take it for you. That's beautiful. I'm so I'm so so happy that I met you because I needed somebody who you know brings that up back for me. Yeah, it yeah. was it was kind of like Sleeping Beauty inside. <laughs> I love that. Yes. And we're not we're not a uh, pretty when we wake up, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> we're pretty wild. Oh. Yeah. Um I do find when I'm working with um clients if I go into this type of sound healing, if we are working um on sexual energy or 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 darker stuck energy or what feels heavier or more intense to release i have to go down into that like that down in the groin and like like really like releasing this loud yeah. ugly sound at them to like mm -hmm. shake it shake it up out of them yeah. that is so <laughs> awesome and that is so actually it's so healthy uh, yeah you're doing um you're a blessing to the world, I would say. Oh, thank you so much, Ilza. <laughs> and to you as well. Just, uh, I feel like all of us, um, just breathing in and out, is, we're contributing to each other. And it's, each of us are, are this a beautiful, unique blessing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, um, the one piece of art that I made with words was my manifesto. Mm. Yeah, but you mentioned, I think, in our first conversation. And uh, yeah, that's where I also say paint, uh, paint in words, paint in color for moods and paint in black and white for contrast yeah yeah any any type of creative expression any of us can harness w words sound uh, color body you know movement um even if it never gets shown it never has to be get get shown to anybody but it really is for us to know more intimately who we are and 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 how we explore the world and yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so yeah we are we're getting into that mode i feel yeah mm -hmm. should we just yeah i don't feel like there's too much more I, I don't either. This this was unexpected how it turned out. This yeah. conversation we totally didn't plan it, but I feel like we can stop here and let the space. If any, yeah, if, <laughs> if, if, if anybody is interested to hear more, we can have conversations. But yeah, I think this was this was it. This is it. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so so much, Elsa. <laughs> Thank you so much, and we meet tomorrow again. Yes, and at 11 a.m. <laughs> yes, at 11 a.m. <laughs>